So what do we got here? This is my 1962 M422A1. Whoa, a mighty bike. It's really unique. It was a vehicle that was made just for the Marines. It'll ford about 60 inches of water. 60 inches? 60 inches. Wow. You ever got underwater with it? Not yet. We should go test it out before we buy it. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to try and sell my military M422A1. I'd like to sell it because I've got too many vehicles. I've probably got a little over $40,000 in the restoration, and I'm hoping to get, say, twenty four, twenty five thousand out of it. Where did you get it? About 15 years ago, a little old lady back in South Carolina was advertising it after her husband died. So I bought it sight unseen and had it shipped to Phoenix. So what can you tell me about it? They started developing it back in 1948, went into production about 1957. It was made so they could helicopter them in wherever they had to have a light vehicle, because it's all aluminum. The Mighty Might only weighed 1,700 pounds, so it could be lifted by a helicopter. But it never saw much combat. By the time we got involved with Vietnam, helicopters could carry a lot more weight. So it was basically already obsolete. I mean, it looks in great shape. What kind of condition was it in when you bought it? It was pretty rough. It took quite a bit to put it back together. Okay. The motor was completely rebuilt, new cranks, new valves, new pistons. It was completely stripped and gone through from the ground up. Every piece in it has been replaced. All right, can I take a look at it? Certainly. I mean, it looks bare bones, but actually, it had heat. It has a gasoline heater, which is kind of unique. And dangerous. Yes, but it <laughs> kept it warm. It had windshield wipers, manual crank right here. Yes. I mean, if you were in the Army back then and they assigned you a Jeep, you were lucky if you had seats without the springs sticking out of them. That's so. true. <laughs> Can you fire it up? Certainly. I'm pretty amazed that it's mostly the original parts. I mean, it sounds great. This Mighty Might is pretty badass. The guy did an amazing job on the restoration. I could sell this to military collectors or Jeep collectors, so I'm really interested in buying it. How much did you want for it? I'd like to get 23, 24,000 for it. Um, just the fact is, I don't know enough about them, and I don't know exactly what they're worth. So, do you mind if I have someone come down? Not at all. Okay. I'm coming Let me go take give a him look. a call, and I'll be right back. I'm excited the expert's coming in to look at it. I think that he'll recognize the quality and how good this vehicle really is. So this is it, a 1962 Mighty Might. Wow. This is something you just don't see every day. <laughs> <laughs> the guys usually call me down here when they have some sort of a vehicle that they want me to check the condition of it, the value, that type of thing. It's a pretty cool little Jeep from the early 60s. This one being just for the Marines, there was less than 3,200 of these ever made. You could drive this Jeep into some serious deep water as long as it can inhale here and exhale there. It had some very state-of-the-art technology for its day back then. It'll go anywhere. It's a really cool thing. Man, that's clean. You got such a simple design that works so well, man. The whole thing's all waterproof. That's way cool. They even got the old-school batteries. I like that. You mind if we take it for a little spin? Is that okay? Go for it. I love it, man. It's the best part of the game. All right, I'm going with you. You want to get? Let's yeah, okay. All right, all right. The restoration on this vehicle is beautiful, inside and out, top to bottom. Can you imagine driving this thing around with no seatbelts on? <laughs> Probably one of the most dangerous vehicles ever designed. Ever, it is man. cool. <laughs> it's extremely rare to see one of these anywhere, be it on the road or, or in a museum. You don't see these very often. Runs great, drives great, looks great. Everything is there. He did a wonderful job on it. All right, so what do you think, Danny? I have no complaints about it. It's really, really cool. I dig it. What's it worth? I would say... Safely somewhere in the thirteen dollars to $15,000 range. I think that would be very safe, but it's way, way too low. All right. Thanks. That's my opinion. You got it, brother. He didn't agree with the value that it put on it. I have to look at it from a perspective that Rick's got to make money. So he's got to buy it at a certain amount, and he's got to market it to a mass group of people. So how much do you want for it? 
I'd like 22,000 for it. I mean, I'm thinking like 13. It's rare, it's in great shape, but still, you gotta figure out what the market is. I'd come down to 20,000, but that's as low as I can go. I think it's worth a lot more than the right guys out there. I mean, I'd go 14, that would be it. I'm sure there's a military vehicle collector or a movie prop company that would love to have this, but it's probably gonna take a long time to connect with a buyer. So 14 grand is the most I'm gonna risk. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'd rather keep it for that amount of money. All right, I understand. All right. All right, come on, chum. The final offer was $14,000. The vehicle means a lot to me, and I couldn't accept that. I'd rather donate it to a military museum or something if that's all I'm going to get out of it.